We haven't seen a lot of innovation in the web browser space since Google cracked the code with its Chrome browser and the subsequent Chromium browsing engine. But every successful browser since has essentially been some derivative of it, adding certain features to make itself stand out. The browser company has decided to try something new. It's called the Arc Browser and TBC claims that it's the Chrome replacement you've been waiting for. However, like everything else, in the tech space, it does come with a catch. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and this is the review of the Arc Browser for Windows and Mac. Arc is the shiny new kid on the internet browser block, a browser that's built from the ground up with a design-first mindset. Now, traditionally speaking, web browsers have been treated as tools for, well, viewing web pages. Arc, however, wants to go deeper than that. It's trying to become what the TBC calls the operating system of the internet. And this shows in Arc's design as well, the first time you launch the browser. Although the user experience isn't quite the same on Windows and on macOS, and we're going to talk about this more later, the browser starts off with a simple interface with a black screen and a command bar to get you started. Instead of trying to be the fastest or the safest, Arc tries to be the smartest instead. This means that you get to focus more on the web page you're visiting rather than be distracted by the dozens of other UI elements littering your browser window. It's so different from a regular web browser that you'll have to get used to it. There isn't even a home page to speak of, and TBC has been very keen on removing anything from the browser that doesn't add to the user experience, even if it means accessing features that you might think are obvious must-haves. The design is very polarizing and you're either going to love it or hate it, there's no in-between here. Spaces, favorites, pin tabs, and several other flagship features that Arc claims to make it different from other browsers might even need explanations before you can start using them as intended. It sounds very complicated, but once you start using the browser, things sort of fall into place. So to make things simple, I'm going to talk about the three major things that make Arc different, in my opinion. The tab structure, spaces, and Arc Max. Arc has a very different tab structure compared to what you might be using. The sidebar where you interact with the browser is divided into three sections, favorites, pin tabs, and daily tabs. Your favorite tabs persist across spaces and provide extra functionality like hover to check events or email. They're pinned at the top of the sidebar in the most prominent place and that's about it. Only a few sites or services can take advantage of the added functionality in a favorite tab. For example, if you pin Gmail as a favorite, you can hover over its icon to check email, a feature that doesn't seem to work. Or if you have Google Calendar, you can hover over to check your day. Next up are pin tabs and folders. This is where most of your used tabs across the day will appear. These tabs are also unique to each space and have a fixed URL that you can always come back to. Daily tabs appear below the pin tabs and folders and they are general everyday tabs that you keep opening and closing throughout the day. They function as regular tabs in any other browser, except that they're automatically closed after a certain period of time. Spaces are like mini profiles within a profile that allow separation between different fields of work or play. For example, you can have a workspace with its own bookmarks and tab structure while your personal space can have a completely different tab structure and color scheme. You can add your own custom space icons and name them accordingly and that's pretty much it. The best way to describe their functionality is that they're an easy way of separating different kinds of tabs, personal from work, between different lines of work, or whatever separation you want that keeps you productive. Arc Max is a suite of AI-powered features that make the browser interesting. There are features like automatic tab sorting, AI-based download renames, quick link previews, and chat GPT integration. It's by far the best implementation of AI I've seen in a web browser. Pretty much everything else Arc offers can be achieved by other browsers if you're willing to play around in the settings, except Peak. This one feature had kept me using the browser and it's the best way of opening temporary tabs. Another unique feature is easels, and I'm not sure how long that's going to remain in the browser as TBC access features if they're not used by the majority of the user base, no matter how good. Performance and battery life figures are on par with most other browsers out there, so you're not really winning any battery life marathons here. For the number of features it runs and supports, performance is pretty good and I didn't notice any stutters or issues otherwise in the macOS version of the browser running on a MacBook Air M2. However, macOS is where the good parts of the Arc browser stop. Arc on Windows is kind of trash, especially when put against its macOS variant. Part of the reason behind this is the fact that Arc was originally made for Macs and TBC later decided to port over the browser to Windows, except they decided to do it on Swift. 
Swift, for those of you who don't know, is the programming language used for Apple apps and runs on their devices, meaning there is a whole lot of challenges when it comes to running Swift natively on Windows. Unfortunately, Arc on Windows has taken the brunt of this. The Windows version, although planned for feature parity with the Mac, is behind the loop, and by a lot. Performance isn't stable or consistent, battery and resource management isn't the greatest either, and updates, whenever they appear, can break more things than they add. Most Arc Max AI features and even basic features that make Arc what it is, such as easels and customization options, are not present in the Windows version either. Basic features like a proper settings panel and even side search doesn't work, and I'm tired of complaining about it on the Arc subreddit that people need to add side search to it. It's a functionality that already exists. It's there. You can see it in the Chromium settings panel underlying Arc. Can you just please enable it? Thank you. I signed up to use Arc when it was in its beta program back in February this year. And to their credit, TVC has made a lot of improvements to the browser since. But it still lacks far behind what other browsers on Windows, especially considering what Arc on Mac is capable of. So is Arc really the Chrome replacement it claims to be? Well, not if you're a Windows user, at least in its current state. Chrome or Edge on Windows will give you better stability, better performance, better battery life, all while providing more and in some cases better features than what Arc is currently offering. macOS, however, is a different story. The browser is snappy, well-optimized, has tons of useful features and is actually a viable Chrome replacement if you've been trying to get off the memory hog. It just takes a while getting used to, but once you do, going back can be really difficult. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we bring for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.